Hi everyone, this is my second attempt of making pizza and uh, whether pizza likes it or not, I must be good at making pizza because you know the price of pizza in Nigeria is just too high for an average Nigerian and I'm one of the average Nigerians just too high that I can't afford it but I'm uh, making it at home is relatively cheap the ingredients are relatively cheap the most expensive ingredient among them is uh, the cheese the cheese is very expensive aside from that others are relatively very very, very cheap so if I want to be enjoying pizza in Nigeria at home, my best option is homemade. That's my best option. And before I continue, when you see that I'm better equipped this time around, better equipped. We have my rolling pin. I know since all my all my board, all my cotton board, they are very small. I've been making use of this table directly for the kneading and also for the making of the circle, so that there will be enough space for me to make. You know. To make sure my um, my dough my dough is uh, of uh, equal or, or it's of uniform height. And for those of you that gave me tons of advices and suggestions, thank you very much. I went through all your suggestions, all the comments, and I want to tell you that thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys. Some of you even sent me some links to learn more on how to do it. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Some of you even <laughs> have been trying to send me. How pizza pizza equipment? That's a pizza pizza utensil. All right, thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate you guys, and also to my patrons, thank you so much for your support. It means the entire universe to me. You guys have been wonderful. Thank you very much. Oh, well, you can also become my patron by clicking on the link in the description of the video. Support my channel, and I'll forever be grateful to you guys. All right, going to the. I'm not going to go through all the every step in the you know in the pouring of the ingredient i'll only be showing the most important ones that you will see what makes the difference and the name equipment that i'll be using to make sure that the pizza comes out better than the previous one that is the competition i'm not trying to you know to match any shape i'm only want to make a pizza that is better than the previous one and that is called improvement all right, let's dive in. I'll be starting with the ingredients. And now, okay, I'll be showing you this. I'm using my wife's phone to look at the ingredient. So we have uh, two cups of, uh, of flour. There's two cups. A teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of sugar. In Nigeria, we have Dangote sugar. <laughs> Dangote is the richest man in Africa. Look at that. The man is almost into everything. Uh, cement, you know, sugar, rice, mention it. Just so into many commodities. Uh, just recently, he has built a refinery in Nigeria. The refinery that the federal government could not build after spending literally tens of millions of dollars. The man, just an individual, has built the refinery. Shame on Nigerian government. Shame on Nigerian government. Every government official that has been at the helm of power, shame on them. One man built a refinery that the entire government could not build for the past 10 years. Shame on them. Though we still don't know <laughs> what is going to happen with this uh, monopoly. Because this one is a monopoly. So, you know, <laughs> it may be the one controlling the entire country. Because Nigeria is a country that runs entirely. It runs entirely on our petrol. And the main reason being that we don't have reliable power supply. As I'm talking to you now, it's over three days that we had power supply last. So that tells you that you need to rely on generator or on solar power for you to be able to power your homes. And in this age, we can't do without power. So many things that we need power for. But just that our, our politicians, they don't really care about that. All right. So the next ingredient we have a tablespoon of yeast. I have my yeast right here. Like I said, I could not buy a whole pack, so so 
I only bought this. This is about uh, 10 cent. I know for some of you, you said that uh, you like hearing the background noise, the natural background noise. And I'm giving it to you guys. This time around, I'll be adding a teaspoon of uh, oil. Teaspoon of oil. Right there. That's according to the according to the ingredient. The last time I did not add oil, I started to remove it, but this time around I'll be using the oil. Now all the dry ingredients they are set now. The next ingredient is a water now to make to mix the dough. So I need to make it well so that I'll just I'll be pouring the water uh, at the center so that it can be well mixed. All right, there you have it. I always love mixing the dough. I always love making it. I don't know why I find it out to be fascinating. I love it. Probably I see uh, the you know the way it goes from powder to lump. It, it used to be magical to me, you know, from powder. Then because of uh, addition of water, then it goes to lump. I find that to be magical. I think this would be better if I use my hands. Yes, yeah, this would be better if I use my hands. So, spatula, rest aside. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I need more service area to make uh, better dough. So this is what I'll be using. And in case you are thinking, uh, are you sure you've cleaned the surface? Yes, that's been thoroughly cleaned. Thoroughly cleaned. So the kneading process now. I don't need to show you all the kneading process. <laughs> I'll show it after it is uh, complete. So I'm almost done with the kneading. As you can see right here. It's been over 10 minutes since I've been needing this. Over 10 minutes. So, I'm almost done. In fact, I'm done. So, I'm going to make this. You know, allow, allow it to proof for, for 20 minutes. You know, just like we did the other time. Alright, for 20 minutes. While this one is resting, I'll be making our sauce. Uh, so, so for the sauce, we have tomato. Yeah. I have our scotch bonnet. Yeah. Yes, yes, scotch bonnet, and we have onion. That's what I'll be using for the sauce, as you can see right here. So, my new sauce. Yeah. Very, very simple. All right, it's already 20 minutes. So right there, we have our dough. Wow, I love this. Look at that, fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> we still have our sauce is ready. So the last stage in the kneading. It's, it seems to be... Uh, Seems to be to be robbery. Seems to be robbery, and I don't know why. Do you think it's normal like that? Seems to be robbery. This is very very easy for me to need now, because I have my trusty roller pin. <laughs> Look at that! Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Look at that. So because I'm using the entire surface, I have, I have enough space to do the experimentation. The rolling pin makes it very, very easy. Yes. Very, very easy to make it. Very, very easy and now I'm comfortable in making. As you can see there. Now look at my dough. Well made. 
Yes. Even if it's, it's not well made, at least it's better than the previous one. I look at that. The previous one. Now just look at how consistent it is. Very, very consistent. I just wish, I wish it is good. But the thing is just that I, the making, how my dough turns out to be, I feel satisfied. And also if there is anything you thought I should have done better, please let me know in the comment section below. I once again say thanks to my patron. Thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate you guys. Alright, so this is my final dough. As you can see, far, far better than the previous one. <laughs> now look at that. Far, far better. Then instead of using the steel and steel to bake, I'll be using this aluminium. You can see that now. I've already all the inside. So I believe this should turn out, if not perfect, if not perfect, at least better than the previous one. I have my sauce. So now you have my sauce right here. That's my sauce. I've already added garlic. Garlic has been added. Some of you, you told me that I should have added more onion. So for this, I'll be adding more onion. <laughs> then scotch bonnet yeah. for you westerners many of you i know this uh, scotch bonnet is too hot for many of you so but for us it's perfect we love it so for the scotch bonnet we have that but the final ingredient the king of all the ingredients as far as i'm concerned please let me know in the comment section below the most important ingredient for this ingredient as for me now, this is the most important. The cheese is the most important ingredient. Then that is the most expensive. So if yours is different from this, please let me know in the comment section below. I, I will really be interested in knowing your most important. Not the most expensive. I'm just saying, I don't know the, the factors that you're going to use in, uh, in getting it. So this is the most important ingredient for me. So we have it right there. Then now, this is how cheese is usually sold in Nigeria. So I just have to cheese. I cut it inside. And even I was expecting the kind of uh, cheese that I used to see in uh, in Hollywood movies, but I discovered that maybe I can't get that in Nigeria, or probably those cheese that I see in Hollywood movies are homemade. You know, I'm not really sure. I don't know. But it just then you know, I like the sight of those cheese that I, I see in American movies. But this one seems to be uh, this one seems to be messy. You know, now look at that. Look at that. To tear this. You know. I don't know, probably I don't, I just don't know how to use it. But uh what should be difficult in using this? Just a simple ingredient inside a sachet, so it shouldn't be too hard. That shouldn't be too hard to make. Alright, once again, if you want to support my channel, the link to do that will be in the description of the video. Just click the link and support me. If you don't want our support, you can buy me cups of coffee. That will also be highly appreciated. Highly appreciate. Now look at that now to break this. Now this is it. Oh, I made a stupid mistake and I'm not happy with myself for that. I put the I put it at the lowest level of our of the oven. As a result, before it is well done, I started burning. And the reason why I did that is that I it will, I thought because this is aluminium, it will cook faster and it will not burn and I was I guess I was very very wrong very very wrong and I'm not happy with myself though on the surface I'm happy with that but I'm very, very sure at the base should I burnt at the base at the bottom so I want to check that now 
to see if the base, the bottom is okay. If the base is not okay, I'm going to be mad at myself because I shouldn't have done that. Because this is supposed to be my best pizza ever. So it's still meant to be my... Oh my God. Very stupid mistake. I can't believe I made this kind of mistake. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe myself that I made this kind of a st stupid mistake. I should have known that. But uh, the thing just that I overestimated, <laughs> I overestimated the power of the aluminium container and also underestimated the power of my oven. You know, but I'm, I'm clearly mad at myself for that, for that stupid mistake. It's a very stupid mistake. And I'm thinking probably it got burnt because of the too much oil that I used to, you know, to oil the container. I'm not really sure. But if you can tell me the main reason why that burnt, it's either the oil. Look at this now. The burnt is not sticky to the base. The burnt is not sticky to the base. Probably because of the oil. Maybe I used too much oil. I don't know. So please let me know in the comment section below. Oh God, I find this to be very, very embarrassing. Now look at that. Almost. Yeah. Burnt. Why, why, why would it be burnt? Why? Uh, I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy with myself at all. It shouldn't, it shouldn't have happened like that. Hmm? Look at the crunch. I'm not even sure this is this is going through the the base. I'm not even sure who's going to eat this. I'm still going to try it. I'm still going to try to see if this can still be enjoyed. Ah, but to be candid, this is embarrassing. I find this to be embarrassing. Too thick. Look at how thick it is. This will have been lovely. Oh God. This is so embarrassing. Don't. Look at that. As beautiful as it looks at the top. Now look at the base. Oh man. I really pity myself. So embarrassing. I'm learning some hard lessons during the making of this pizza. It's still very hot. It can still be salvage. I think I can scrape up the base and enjoy it. Ooh. Probably it can still be salvage. Alright, that's it about today's video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Your support is very, very important to me. Thank you very much, guys. I'm not happy with this. This will be the first, first of my project that I'm not happy with the end result. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not happy with myself. I'm not happy with myself. Because it was, a, it was just a silly mistake. You know, I should have known that. I should have known that. You know? I love you. I should have known that. All right, guys. Thank you for your support. Most especially, Mr. Mike Atomichu, a very wonderful man. I hope you all the best in life. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.